friends, welcome to Symphony Storytime where we share two of our favorite things, books and music. If this is your first time joining us and we haven't met yet, my name is Amy and I'll be your reader today. And with me today is my friend Michael from the Oregon Symphony. Hello everyone, it's nice to be here with you. My name is Michael Roberts and I play percussion. Now percussion is a family of way too many instruments to count. They include many things. They include mallet instruments like this vibraphone, which can play melodies like this. They also include instruments that play rhythms. So I'm going to play a rhythm on this guiro. And let's see what else I have here. There's also a lot of sound effects in percussion like these bamboo wind chimes and glass wind chimes. And you have some other things too, so there's gonna be some surprises in this book too that we'll talk about later. Exactly. Right? So you ready to start the book? Yeah, this will be fun. All right, our book today is Good Night Bob, a book we love because you get to play all our favorite lullabies. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Let's do it. Okay. Good Night Bob by Anne and John Hassett, Published by Albert Whitman and Company. Good night, Bob, said Moon. Bob saw two eyes. It was fish. Good night, Bob, said fish. Bob saw two eyes. It was cat. Good night, Bob, said cat. Bob saw two eyes. It was dog. Good night, Bob, said dog. Bob saw two eyes. It was Mouse. Good night, Bob, said Mouse. Bob saw two eyes at the window. It was Bigfoot. Good night, Bob, said Bigfoot. Bob saw lots of eyes. It was stars. Good night, 
Bob, said Stars. Bob closed his two eyes. Good night, Bob. Did you hear your favorite lullabies in there? I know I did. But also, Michael, you had a lot of other things going on with yes. so many percussion instruments. Will you tell us about them? Absolutely. Um, so quickly to define a percussion instrument, a percussion instrument is anything that you can shake, like these eggs or maracas, anything you can scrape, like this guiro, or anything you can strike, like I was striking the vibraphone with these mallets. Another fun fact is the materials they're made out of. Percussion instruments are generally made out of wood, like these claves, metal, like these cymbals, or plastic, like this guiro again. And that's pretty much all there is to it. We have some questions from some of you. Michael, would you be willing to answer them? Sounds great. Okay, all right. The first one is from Benjamin. He's six and a half, and he wants to know if you ever broke a drum by playing it too hard. It's a great question, Benjamin. Uh, I've never actually broken a drum, but we play on the heads of the drums, and those actually break or dent quite frequently. So you always want to make sure that you're using the right mallet or uh, not playing too aggressively so that you don't go through the head. But it'll still happen from time to time on a drum or a tambourine like this. Just hopefully it doesn't happen in a concert. Okay, so if Benjamin breaks his tambourine, he can just tell his mom, you know, that's what happens even with the pros. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. all right. <laughs> Chloe is seven. She wants to know how old you were when you knew you wanted to play percussion because she's absolutely positive that she does. Oh, wow, that's great that you want to play percussion. I actually didn't know until I was in fifth grade. I was 10 years old. I had previously started on piano a couple years early, uh, earlier than that. So, yeah, I didn't really start playing music until I was eight and percussion at 10. So she's seven, so she's way ahead of the game. She can okay. get a head start. Kaylee is four. And she just wants you to know that she likes all the noises and she also likes jumping to them. Thank you so much, <laughs> Kaylee. I like it too. Keep, keep jumping. <laughs> and what about clapping? It says if you're clapping, are you actually using a percussion instrument if you're clapping? Absolutely. There are actually percussion uh, pieces written for clapping. All right, I think we need to let Chloe know that. So Chloe, you can clap along and you're already learning how to be a percussionist. Mm -hmm. Yes? Okay. Oh, last question. There's a big vocabulary word in here from Hunter, who is six, and he wonders if you have a favorite composer. Hmm. I actually, I don't have a particular favorite. Uh, it, I just like, I love music from all different time periods, from Beethoven to Mahler to uh, just everything, really. But uh, I really love playing the music of Bach. Bach. Uh, yes. Okay. And you've got something from Bach that you're going to play for us. I do. And we should tell our friends what a composer does, too. A uh, composer is someone who writes music to be played. So you don't write it all yourself. You usually play something that somebody else has written. Yes. <laughs> and you like Bach. I love Bach. And you're going to play some Bach for us. Mm-hmm. Before we listen to Michael, I'm going to say goodbye. Thank you so much for sharing your time with us, and I hope you'll join us again soon for another symphony story time. I love the music of Bach because his music lends itself nicely to other instruments. This piece I'm going to play for you was originally written for the violin, but listen to how relaxing it sounds for the vibraphone. <laughs> 